Yo, what's up guys? Coco Jover here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to see how freaking broken Mrs. Gardevoir is. Now, if you guys haven't seen our last video, I went through all of the different um the different uh, items you can use on her, her abilities, what's the best kit to use. We're going to see if we can actually snag her real quick and there it is. We picked her up right away. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and use Gardevoir and uh, preparation is complete. Good, good, good. We are, oh, we're taking a picture. Look at me. I'm all sort of excited right here. We're actually going to be going bottom path. So when you use Gardevoir, the kit that you want to use for her is as follows. We're actually going to get an eject button just in case things go down south. But Pretty much when you're running Gardevoir, what you want to use is a uh, the Wise Glasses, which increases her special attack. You want to use the Float Stone, which increases the special attack and helps your movement speed outside of battle. And then also to you, um, or excuse me, that one just moves, increases your movement speed. And um, you also want to use the Shell Bell, which increases your special attack and also to gives you um, health over time. So Gardevoir is going to be played kind of like a Cinderance. If you're a Cinderance main, uh, this is going to fit right in, in your alley. So what we're going to do is we're going to automatically go here and take Confusion. We're going to go in Attack. I actually, I always get messed up with this. I, I always feel that the right trigger is the, is the little R button. I don't know why. Maybe you guys will be doing this just like me. But um, it looks like we don't have anyone going mid. So hopefully one of these uh, teammates goes mid. But yeah, so there we go. We got the confusion. Cool, there it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're actually uh, going to go grab this real quick. I need to go up because when you play uh, bot, you're supposed to go for, for the top mid. And then, oh, the one of the things I really hate in this is when they go into the, the grass and then you can't actually attack them. So, anyways, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try our best to level up as fast as we can. Now, if you remember, you have to hit level 6 in order to uh, level up as a uh, Krillia. So, let's see right here. Um, I want to go for... There we go. I want to go for the... Let's teleport and pursue. Can we get the kill? Oh! Okay, we're going to score though right here anyways. I wanted to go for the Lucario. And we're going to try to farm there. The little crabs right here. Alright, good, good, good. We're level 5. We're so close to level 6. Alright, cool. We're making some good progress. I'm going to go ahead and dunk either way. And we're going to go out of here and teleport. I love the teleport. The way you're just able to just get out of here and, and keep it going. But looking good right now and so once we hit levels uh once we hit level six then we should evolve there we go nice there goes our aldegas helping us out but yeah once we hit level six we'll be able to get um i believe it's psy shock and um get it right here there it is psy shock now psy shock is so good let's see if we can pick this up on him nice this Mr. Mime isn't playing really aggressive, so we're in a really good spot. We're gonna go like this, and bam. Man, we are really getting some good hits. Now, once we hit level eight, we'll be able to get our next attack, which will be Moonblast. So Moonblast is really good. I highly recommend you using it. Um, there's also Psychic. So if you wanna use Psychic, you can. But for the most part, we're just gonna use Moonblast. All right. Also, too, how are you liking this game, guys? Do you have a specific, um, do you have a specific build that you guys use? Is there a specific character? We're gonna go ahead and get Moonblast. There it is. Awesome. And Moonblast is really cool because you actually get a really good length in attack. Like, look at that. It's just crazy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And also, too, is this your first time playing a MOBA? Also, for me, I love playing MOBAs, but this is actually um, one that is super, super, super easy to get into. Um, when I was learning how to play games like this, it's very, very intimidating when you 
um, just see all these like stats and you see all these numbers and it just really throws you off and it's kind of scary but with this game it's just super simple it's very easy and I think you guys will like it I don't know how we missed that getting a little bit of lag that's the one thing I have noticed too in this game is that there's a lot of lag that um, tends to happen and they keep targeting me for some reason so we're gonna try to get out of here we do have our escape um, if we need our little escape button and we should get this perfect I'm actually going to try to level up more before we take that. Um, they have a 29, so that would be a lot better. So not only will we get 28, but then we'll get uh, we'll get that one, but we'll get 28 more too as well. So cool. Now we're a Gardevoir, so we're fully leveled up. We're our stage two, and things are looking really good for the Coco Crew. We're going to try to time that perfect snipe right there. Perfect snipe. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. And now we have 15, which is really good. There goes 10 from our Charmander, our Charmeleon, excuse me. Looking ever so good. And awesome, awesome, awesome stuff right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I always love when the team just works together and everything works um, in unison. Perfect. He should be dead. Nice. And we're actually going to use our alt on him. Why not? And it looks like our uh, slow bro actually used his telekinesis, so that really messed us up. But it's okay. Even though we didn't get to see the full effects of our alt, it's totally fine. What matters is we're winning. We are winning here, and it's turning out really, really good. And everyone's doing their part. We got Charizard in the mix. We got our own slow bro doing his thing. We're going to get our try our Psy attack. Go right there. I'm going to dunk right here for some points. And perfect. And Psy attack again right there. Our telekinesis. Cool. Now we can level up our... Uh, our ooh, and we have another video ready for you guys. That's what that sound was. We also have our, our Psy attack right there. So now it should be able to... Um, oh, we yeah, have Mr. Mime. I'm going to say we should be able to um, get the cooldown. Oh, that is so dirty, dude. If they get close to you, just use Psy attack or Psy shock. It is so dirty. All right, cool. Cool. So we got him down. And let's try to snipe him. Try to bring him back in. I like that too because most people are not going to walk towards you. They're going to actually um, space it out and um, try to leave you. Let's see if he stays put. Is he going to stay put? No. All right, so we can dunk right here. Perfect. We took this out. So now we can choose what we want to do now that we conquered our lane. Since we got both um, the the first one and the second one, which is the 80 and the 100. So I'm just going to choose to level up. Perfect. And we're going to try to stag that from him. Perfect. Charizard's going into. And we're dominating... With only three minutes left, these matches go ever so fast. And we have, like I said, conquered our lane. He's almost dead, but we're going to go actually up top and try to help our friends out. Seems like they need some help. And there goes this one. Oh my gosh, everyone and their mom just coming out. Looks like they're mad, so let's go ahead and use our ult. And see you later, nerds. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and help our teammates out up here. Let's see. They're at 40, so we'll be down to 16 after this. And we'll take a... Oh, actually, if you guys didn't know, fun fact. Um, when you score a point, you usually get like a nice bar um, of health. So it's really cool. It doesn't matter if it's one or if it's two. You get a nice cool bar of health. Perfect. Watch. You'll see right here. Even if it's five. Bam. We get a little health right there. Let's try to attack him. Okay. And then we dunk again and look at the health. That's so good, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? And we took that one. Perfect. Zapdos in two seconds. And there we go. Perfect. So you can just see the power of uh, Gardevoir. She is so good. Now when we use Moonblast, we're actually going to get a, um, a little shield that lasts for three seconds. And it is so good. So we're going to try to do this. Now we have a shield. So if they try to hurt us. Nothing will happen. And you're done, son. 
Perfect. We're going to try to get Mr. Mime. Perfect as well. Get Talonflame. Awesome. All that's left is Mr. Venusaur. And he's done too as well. And we'll try to get this going here. And bam. We should get a nice cooldown. Perfect. Now we do see um, the, the Lucario over on the right. So I am going to change directions and see if we can get some good damage over here. Super awesome. I think just the kit that we have with the items and everything is just so good. And we knocked out the Talonflame. Um, we're going to go ahead and tack the... Right there. Because he has the Telekinesis up. So we might as well... Oh my gosh, did you see that? Freaking the uh, Slowpoke or Slowbro used the Telekinesis and then um and then uh Charizard came in with the uh <laughs> He came in with the seismic toss so dirty so dirty and we're gonna go ahead and try to cap this out. I'm gonna try to get the teleframe so he doesn't get Zapdos. He's using fly at the moment. And uh I rather go for kills than anything. And I'm going to move over here. We killed Zapdos. 10 seconds left. you love to see it. That was so dirty. And just using the gravitational pull from uh, Gardevoir's ult is so freaking good. It is so freaking good. You can suck everyone in. They're constantly getting damage. Someone can come in with their ult. It is just so freaking good. And let's see if we get MVP. There it is! Let's freaking go! 24 kills, Gardevoir, 160 points, Dunkaroos. I'm pretty sure if we would have gotten Zapdos, we probably would have had 260, but 93 score? Let's freaking go, guys! If you guys love this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Those likes and comments definitely help this video get discovered, and so other people can enjoy this awesome gameplay and fun community. I love you guys so much. If you're new here, welcome to our community. It's really good to have you. Look forward to some more good content that we're going to be putting out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everyone, and good luck out there.